Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to use cupping therapy for pain relief. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! So the folks at Egged Away sent me their Egged Away cupper to help demo cupping, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit more later and just tell you in general what cupping therapy is. You might have seen in the past five to ten years uh, a lot of cupping in the Olympics. Uh, some of those big swimmers, you see these big circle kind of bruises uh, a lot of times around the shoulders. Um, it can be for the legs, it can be for the back and the neck. And so cupping is really just a uh, Chinese medicine therapy Therapy, ancient Chinese medicine therapy that goes back to even 3,000 years and it's been used all over the world. So what you're doing is you're putting a cup on your skin and getting a suction to draw in that skin. And so ideally what that does is it helps improve circulation to the area. And so that helps with pain relief, it helps with inflammation, and just for general well-being because it's improving that circulation in your body. The big thing about cupping is, as you might have seen uh, either you know with famous people or the Olympics, that cupping does leave marks. It's basically bringing a bruise to your skin. It's bringing that blood to the surface. And how that works is when that suction happens, it puts a lot of pressure on our capillaries, um, you know, in, in the, um, the, that moves the blood around in our skin. And so when that pulls up those capillaries and puts that extreme pressure on them, those capillaries break and then pulls the blood to the surface. So if you're interested in trying this, First of all, make sure you're cleared by your doctor or healthcare provider to do it, and I'd recommend having it done by a healthcare provider first, but you're gonna get bruising. So I wanna show you real quick, I did one earlier today, um, and you can see this isn't even a big one because I don't have a whole lot of issues here. A lot of times with cupping, um, the the more injury you have, you'll have a bigger bruising to that area. So sometimes you might do it on an area and not get a whole lot of bruising. But you know, if you're getting ready to go to a wedding or some fancy party, you might not want to do that cupping on an area that's exposed. Uh, so let me talk a little bit about the ached away cupper because it's a really neat concept. With cupping in general, um, you again, I would always recommend having it done to you first by a professional, but this actually makes it super easy to do um, without a whole lot of training. And the reason for that is it's an automated cupper. It actually does all the suction. A lot of times with cupping that you'll see in you know physical therapy clinics or with an acupuncturist, they might use heat to draw in the suction. They might use like a mechanical pump to draw in the suction. Some of them, like for home use, you can just kind of suck the air out of it as well. But what this does is it does the suction for you. And the reason I like that is because a lot of times if you're doing it yourself, um, you might not know how much suction to do. You can do a little bit, you can do a medium amount, and you can do a lot. And a lot of times it depends on your injury. So this has five different modes that you can use and five different intensities that you can use. So you can start Start off really light and kind of get a feel for it and it does it for you so then you know you're not doing too much and then if you feel okay yeah I can do a little bit more then you can start increasing it from there. It also has uh, three different sizes the one I have on there a medium one and then a smaller one for maybe like the neck shoulder area or um, thinner surfaces that maybe don't have quite as much meat on them. They also have a little spot here and a lanyard that you can put on it. I do recommend using this, especially if you have it on the upper area or if you're area on a uh, space where it might fall down because if it loses suction, it could possibly actually fall. So um, when it has the suction on it, it has great suction. You can even do some exercises with it sometimes, um, but just for safety, make sure you're doing that. Uh, so you don't wanna put it on areas where there's uh, like, um, arteries where you can feel a pulse or things like that. You don't want to do it on areas where there's fractures. If you have edema issues, you don't want to do that. Um, there's some other precautions. Maybe if you're on blood thinners or have a um, autoimmune issue that's a blood issue, make sure you're checking again with your healthcare provider before trying this because it is moving that blood and breaking those capillaries. So 
I'm gonna show you, this is so cool. This is how easy it is. You just put it on the area that you wanna do. You press the on button and you gotta hold down just a little bit and then it starts. Make sure you push down a little bit to get it started, but see then it's got that suction and stays on there. It has a mode button here. It has the intensity here. And it also has infrared light to help with the healing process as well. So it's got that extra bonus of some other form of treatment that you can do with it, which is a nice added bonus to the traditional cupping. So as you can see here, it's pulling up that skin into the area. And so it's nice because I'm not having to worry about this. I can leave it on and just let it go. Um, whereas traditional cupping, you might have to change the intensity, change the pressure, put some more suction in there as you go along. Um, but the reason that it's nice because it suctions and then releases, it helps increase that flow better again than it's just being static on there. You can also change the modes as you go. So I'm gonna take it all the way up to um, the power mode. And so the power mode and the professional modes, as you can see, holds it for a little bit longer. And so it gets that more suction in there. But what I want to show real quickly, what's nice is, let's say I'm working on my quad muscle here. I can also maybe do some quad sets working on that muscle while I'm doing the suction um, there and that cupping therapy. And it's got that nice suction to be able to hold it in place. So I don't have to worry about it falling off. And some of the cupping devices you might get, especially for home use, you just kind of squeeze and put them on there. And if you're do, trying to do an exercise or something with it, or even like a leg lift, uh, it might not hold its suction very well. But I, when I've been working with my hip and stuff like that, um, the suction stayed on there the whole time. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this one now. So you just press the button and you can feel that suction stop. If you wanna take it off a little bit quicker before the suction gets off, just make a little break in that seal and then you can take it off. And so you can see I'm already starting to get a little bruise forming there, um, maybe not quite as much as some others, but it really does kind of get worse before it gets better. So you'll get more bruising throughout the next couple days. And it usually lasts for anywhere from five to, to probably maybe even 10 days, depending on how much blood you've brought to the surface there. So um, a lot of times, especially in therapy, what we'll do with the cupping is use it to break up adhesions. So if you want to get that suction and then maybe move the cup around a little bit, you can use um, some cream, some lotions. Some people like to use essential oils. Again, just make sure you're reading the directions how to do it. Um, uh, the Ached Away has some directions in there, making sure that it's a nice smooth, um, you know, there's not just clumps of lotion. Um, and then you can actually take it and move it around a little bit to break up those adhesions or people call scar tissue sometimes, which will cause tightness or cause binding down in the muscles. And so that's a great way to help break it up. I've used that several times as a technique and it works really well. It also has an app to go with it, which uh, is nice because if you want the app, you can kind of control it from there. But what's great is you can also control it off from here as well. So if you don't wanna use the app, you don't have to. And it does automatically turn off. Um, so then you you know again uh, how, much, how long to use it. But I would say, suggest that if you have not had cupping before, really start off with a shorter amount of time, like maybe even two to three minutes, because as you can see, I just did that for a little bit of time and it already started turning a little red and just a little purple there. So I would start off with less and then gradually progress your way up and then just let it automatically turn off after you've kind of built it up. If you're interested in purchasing the Ached Away Cupper, make sure and click on the link up there and don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.